Saint Gothlac and the Cuckoo. Done forever with all human battles, gut sick of the hypocrisies and weary of the spoils, I marched alone into the fens, grey mist descending. Sometimes I blundered waist deep in oozing sphagnum, retraced steps, clambered along nets of willow roots, made it again to firmer ground. But at the end, all solidity gave way to water, and there a leaking hollow boat knitted out of hazel twigs awaited. So I crouched inside and paddled with my hands to where a wood rose amid the sludge, and within it a barrow, robbed and ripped open by hell's brigands long ago. I dug out leaf mould from the cyst, lined it snugly with leaves of ferns, and lived there under a brown thatch of reed mace until my beard became a bird's nest. Discerning real beasts from demons was difficult, but I knew the holy dazzle of mating damselflies was never of the devil, nor the birds who wove their songs within the wild basketry of osiers. And every year he came to me, the kind cuckoo, his crop a bulge with caterpillars, calling in the spring, his sharp flight hawk-like, his tail white-spotted, his tight eye gilded, his long breast scalloped as a goshawk's, Crowland's height, depths and all dimensions, resonant with bright inhuman glory, and the eon-long monotony of his love song's hollow nodding, lulling me to dreams or heaven's realms.